This is Bokanok by Narcotic 007. It is 798.54 megabytes to download. And the description says, Welcome to Bokanok, a map boost based even loosely on an area in rural southeast Cornwall, UK. The topography matches that of southeast Cornwall with steep woodland and agricultural fields. This map is not intended for big machinery or flat ground lovers. 11 base game productions, 75 fields, 9 woodlands and forestry areas ranging in size and scale, 5 custom animal pastures, sheep, pig, cows, chicken and horse, 4 farm sites to build on including 1 basic starter farm which all items can be sold to clear site, BGA and custom export sale site, 5 sale points, there's no AI traffic, the roads are too narrow, and AI helper routes fully mapped to all roads with farm tracks or and farm tracks. Right, let's go and check it out. And here we are, this is where you start off in all three modes, and this is the map, guys. So we are down here, we're at the shop area. I'm in new farmer mode, as always. And that is literally all we start off with, just plot number three, which is basically your starting farm. So we don't even get any fields. That is all we get up there. That has got a value of 81,144. We will check out all those points up there and equipment, etc. in a minute. So I won't go into too much detail on that. Um, there is a couple of areas we will need to buy for things to show up animal pastures, BGA, etc. But it's not very expensive to do. Field prices, um, I think this field was pretty hefty. 566,000 for that guy. We've got smaller fields, 33,000 areas like that. 80, is that not 80, is it? 865 grand just over. There's areas of forestry. 224 grand like so 211 and the areas i will be buying with you you'll see the prices on them there is a few placeable areas as it says 85 is one 207,000 to buy we pretty much will take in all the placeable areas as we go around so there's one here which has actually got two levels to it. That is 80 grand just over. There's another one over here that is just over 50 grand. I think um, there's one there as well. No, that's not. There's not one there. Tell a lie. I think that's it for the placeable areas to buy. But that is the map, guys. Um, there's no custom crops or anything like that. We'll stay in this menu. There's no collectibles. We do start off with a small greenhouse, which is up at our farm, which is nice. There is contracts available on the fields you don't own. We don't own any fields, actually, do we? So contracts available. No animal pens yet. There's our equipment, which we'll see in a second. So no custom crops or extra products, like I said earlier. And there we have it. That is not a custom crop calendar, but I th can we still... Yeah, it's still showing cotton and sugarcane. I'm getting confused because quite a few maps have dropped in the last couple of days. But that is the map, guys. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll show you around the shop, which is pretty impressive. I like that building. And then I'm going to jump up to the farm and I'm going to add in a little bit of cash. We will buy the plots because we need to buy them to things to show up so we can show you as we go round. And then we'll head on that way, I think. So we are down here at the shop. Absolutely huge area. There's only one way in and out, and that is that barrier there. So yeah, really huge area. Also your reset point down here. There is no workshop down at the store, though. So you will need to sort that out yourself. But we can go in the doors. Both of them open. Um, there is a shop menu there. So... There is machinery in here, obviously it's not ours, we can't get in it, it's just decorative, but that's probably using up the megabyte download, things like this, because it is a little bit up there, and to be fair, there's not a huge amount on the map, so I think a lot of this is for that. Um, we can open this huge great door if we want to, but we can't get none of that out, so I don't think there's much point. 
but there we go that is the shop so like i say we're going to jump up here we do have a pickup so we'll whiz round in that and we're going to go around sort of something like this and go ba 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 dee 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 and end up down here i think that's where we'll finish but we will take in all the points that we need to take in etc so i will see you back up the farm and we'll add in a bit of money right okay we are at our farm with a little bit of extra cash as well which is handy so we'll go through mods and slot counts now and then i'll show you around the farm and things like that so mods we do have there's only a few really to be fair that have been added in for the map by the map maker there's a couple of sheds here they are at our farm you'll see them in a second and so are these two guys so we've got a bunker silo and a farmer 400 now i'm not quite sure why they're modded in i guess the map makers have to do something to get them onto the map I don't, i'm not sure because there's no difference this isn't a multi-fruit silo it's not got an increased capacity as far as i can tell so there's that and silos and containers we do have a large petrol tank again can't see any difference there but we do have these cool little huts i think they're like alien gyms little purchase huts um, we've got a fertilizer one i'll show you them on the farm there's a seed one as well they're both on the farm farmhouses we've got the british farmhouse which is right behind where we stood again you'll see that as i spin around and then in production and greenhouses we do have a small greenhouse but once again i cannot see any difference in cycles per month or the price there just water in lettuce strawberries or tomatoes out so pretty much the same and then all that is left is in animals and pigs we have a pig pasture which has an increased capacity of 120 pigs instead of the base game 30. that is a fenceless pasture because it is obviously specific to the area that it's in which you'll see as we go around so that is it for the mods if we go up into landscaping and painting we've got a few textures in here we've got animal mud asphalt a couple of asphalts gravel concrete dirt forest ground grass gravel 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 and that is it so not a huge amount and there's nothing in trees or plants at all right slot counts let's get that out of the way the slot count in new farmer mode which is what i am in is 1428 and we get this equipment so we got three medium tractors a john deere 4755 a john deere 7810 massey ferguson 3670 a deutsch file top liner harvester we got the 86 lizard pickup a valga trailer header for our harvester a cultivator a cedar the header trailer for your header and a couple of 10 winkle weights both 750 kilograms that is it now if you want to sell off all that equipment and you know start with what you really want you can get the slot count down to 1328 which is what the slot count is in farm manager and start from scratch because you come on here you don't start off with anything you don't have this farm you don't have any machinery so farm manager and start from scratch 1328 so it's 100 slots less than new farmer obviously there is potential to reduce that slot count because we can sell off everything here at our farm i wasn't able to get rid of these stone walls though and there's another wall just over there which you'll see couldn't get rid of those in demolish mode as well so they will remain but everything else building wise we can get rid of at our farm right let's get on with it so british farmhouse right behind us we can't go in but it's very nice looking do have a sleep trigger there and that one there is for our wardrobe our pickup is just there which we will be grabbing in a second if we run round, we've got our trailer this is our little greenhouse so obviously water in and your plants will go so i won't go into too much detail but these are the sheds that are modded in for the map with our equipment in which is nice then we have one of these huts this is the seed hut so we can buy seeds from here 
lime and herbicide it's going to be a little bit cheaper than the store over here we've got the silo so you tip in pipe out again not multi-fruit and then we've got the fertilizer one this is just solid fertilizer and liquid fertilizer from here but again very nice just quickly run out of here and across the road we have this little area which is pretty cool it's um nice and flat so if you didn't want these two things that are here we can get rid of them as well and then you've got another flat area to put well whatever you want really share the production things like that <clears throat> excuse me but that is the large petrol tank which is empty but we can fill it up to 15,000 litres and then the small bunker silo like so right let's jump into our pickup excuse me for tabbing across but it is quicker than running and get out of breath too quick as well running we will head off I think I've covered everything so far we'll head on out now like it says in the description there is no traffic on here what I do like though is the way look at that it's all up and down it is very hilly if you've been to Cornwall you will probably have noticed that Cornwall is quite hilly I've been lucky to go a couple of times and the two places I've been to have been quite hilly and steep in places so it is pretty true in that sense what I don't really like though is all these grass banks that seem to surround a lot of the fields they're um, I'm not quite sure why because originally when I came on the map these little lines here I thought they might have been little dirt tracks I thought oh yeah that's pretty cool you can cut through there it's not it's all those little mounds that go around the field so I'm not keen on those but it is what it is I guess so first port of call is in here this is going to be our cereal factory like so let's head on out and round these roads like this they're pretty smooth but when you get onto the dirt tracks obviously they're going to be a lot more bumpier so just watch your speed going across them like that in here we have the dairy down the back here we've got a little car park that I'm guessing for the workers which is pretty smart and then literally right opposite we have one of these placeable areas and there's the little bit that's stepped down I said is in two levels different levels so that is that placeable area and then if we turn down here oh I haven't bought up the areas have I I do apologize I haven't covered everything have I <laughs> so there's six areas we need to buy on the map um, 94 is one of them that's just over 60 gram buy that that's got a chicken pasture in then we need to buy 18 and 19 um, sheep in that one cows in that one so 19 is just over 35 grand and 18 is 91 grand then we need to buy 93 plot 93 that's only 52,344 that is our bga that is very cheap cool i like that plot 92 63,000 just over that is our piggies and then the last one to buy is 88 and that is 55,560 and that's got our horses on there like so so it is those six plots two three four five six that's all we need to buy for things to show up right now you'll see them because obviously those icons wouldn't be showing as we drove past them so we're going into a little bit of a forestry area different types of trees zoom in otherwise you're going to get a face full of tree and then we're back out onto one of the sort of main roads I guess so I can kind of understand why they haven't got traffic on there because some of these roads are a little bit narrow but then some of the others do open up a little bit more 
We've got a couple of nice, really nice bridges here, which kind of snake round. That's pretty cool. And then this nice fenced off area, we're gonna stop there. We can stop on the road because no traffic. We will open this gate. This is our chicken pasture. So feed in there, their eggs will appear in this spot there. This will hold 300 chickens and they will just all roam around in here. We do have a little bit of a river down there, which is quite nice. So that is your chickens. Down in there, I won't drive right in, that is our carpentry. So that's where you can take your wood. We've got decoration houses and things like that. I'll come up this way and around here. Another cool bridge. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and a broken bridge now. And then down this way and then we need to take the track on our right another little nice stream there is people walking around though even though there isn't um, traffic there is people walking about they will walk across that bridge right we'll head on up here and I'm gonna stop at this gate first and jump out this is our sheep pasture so again it's all gated they can't escape well, they wouldn't escape anyway but They've got these sort of mounds, but this is our sheep. So 200 sheep that will hold, need water and um, feed as well. And they've got that lovely view like so. So there's our sheep. And if we climb up a bit further, so you are gonna need something with a bit of oomph. I'm not sure all those tractors will handle coming up here, especially with a trailer full of feed. And then we'll stop here um, the cow pasture is actually in here but to get through to it we have to sort of go into someone else's field here so it goes around the track we've got another gate and then we've got our cows this will hold 50 cows they're going to need water and feed but they will give you milk as well and they'll appear and roam all around there which again was pretty nice Right up the top here, we've got another placeable area. Not a bad size. So, you, you know, you can put productions down. You can put a dairy up there if you want, quite near your cows. Although 50 cows, you're not going to get a huge amount off of them. You could probably even put down another sort of cow barn if you wanted to. Plenty of mods out there. Right, let's go back down this way and now go right. And we are now heading to, I think there's another turning on our right we need to take. Yeah, and then it goes off to the edge of the map, I think, if I remember rightly. Yeah, pretty sure it's this turning. So climbing back up again. I'm not sure it feels UK British to me. Some of it does, but you know I'm not I'm not hundred percent feeling it. But it's not a bad map. But I have noticed on Mod Hub, because this actually came out yesterday, it's not getting a very good score. So people have probably been on here and playing it, you know, whereas I'm just coming on and checking things out. I'm not actually playing it and seeing what's wrong with it, etc. as such. But anyway, this is a cell point area. So again, lots of decoration, so that's probably using up your megabyte downloads but I don't mind that I like maps that sort of bring a bit of life and look like there's things going on proper places but this is all decorative here even this workshop silos etc way station 
but we do have a sale point right here and this is called export ink like so they will take quite a few things bells and things that's why they're over there so that's pretty cool right head down this way oh I've missed a turning there haven't I excuse me I knew I'd do that I was whizzing round earlier and I thought I'm gonna miss one of these turnings I just know I am and I did in here we've got a sugar mill again I like the way they put these sheds here and they put pallets of sugar in there's a forklift there because it just gives it that sort of factory feel that something's actually happening so it's got some nice points about it right concentrate now snowy because you're going to miss another turning i may have to check the map again in a second <laughs> i think it's a bit of a drive though to the next point of call oh yeah we're off to the bga which is just over there you can probably see the top of the domes and we're going to head down here and we need to get back onto the sort of one of the main roads to be able to get in there we'll come back to those two fellas there so this is our BGA which obviously we do own now that will be in our productions menu there is no bunker silo here though you might be able to squeeze one in down here somewhere there's your BGA and like I say that should show now in here like so so it's just a standard BGA nothing fancy about it right I'll quickly show you and then I can have a little look where I've got to go next so started off at the farm we came round, visited these productions came across through the forest here up into there chickens carpentry i went like that across the bridge down into the sheep and cows we had to then come back out and then all the way down across here and to export ink come down that's where i missed my turning but that's the sugar mill come all the way down through here and then we're going to come down there i have to come back on myself just to take in these guys and then we'll head on up and do the rest like that so not a problem right in here we have on our left the biomass heating plant sale point and then just in here we have the farmers market which is obviously all a sale point as well so back out and up this track just to be able to take in the guys down on the bottom left corner of the map slowly does it otherwise we're going to flip the pick up and next up we do have the sawmill I won't go in there because it is just a base game sawmill but again nice bit of decoration to show things going on so I'm a fan of that, my map makers do that. And then heading on down. Now this, this is quite funny. This is obviously, in fact I'll show you that in a second because we're going to be right close to that. But it looks like there's been a bit of an accident down there and I think it's been done on purpose. It's not a case of two cars colliding because there is no traffic on there but in here and round this side we do have our pig pasture again they will roam all out here so feed trough water trough 120 pigs which we know anyway from seeing the mod earlier and then just down this little bit of a hill we've got the grape processing unit up there turn right we are going to hit the edge of the map any second 
about here I think I don't think I'll be able to get that close but that's been made to look like an accident I think we've got the cones out the giveaway signs leaning forward so that car's crashed in there I don't quite know what's happened there but anyway we're gonna scoot across there and up here there is another track if you look on the mini map that comes across and comes out just here I've been a bit naughty and gone that way but we will head into the forest this is quite a big decent bit of forestry area bit of a shame the sawmill isn't here actually because that would have been nice wouldn't it probably a little bit too easy this is our spinnery so we'll do a lap of that so we can get back out this way um, the two icons at the top of the mini map we've already done so I can scoot down this way now people walking around and then in this little turning here do have the tailors so that is just down in there that track there leads off to a field so it doesn't go around to these but pretty much next door um, we do have custom UK road signs so we've got the 30 mile per hour zones and there's also the national speed limit ones a bit further up so that has been added in but just around the back we've got a supermarket sale point right next door to that we've got the bakery And then opposite those two we have our restaurant sale point which is there some of these sale points and productions are going to be a little bit tight getting in and out so there's your national speed limit signs for the UK which means you can floor it <laughs> I'm not encouraging you to speed I did not say that right so I'm going to stop here again not have to worry about causing a traffic jam in here we do have the horse pasture so again feed trough water horses 16 of do have one of these old barns over the back there if you wanted to use it for things storing bells whatever and there's also a couple of little jumps so you could give them a good ride around there it's a pretty big area so quite nice what they've done there Um, down here next isn't it just up in there is the oil mill and if we take this track back on up we have got quite a decent placeable area which I'm going to drive up into so you can see So up this slope I think was this one about 80 grand I'll double check in a second but we've got all of this so you can really go to town building a farm up here or you know factories things like that and you've got all of that as well that all yeah that all does come as one lump oh no it's 207 wasn't it very very far out with my estimation there but it is a big area so you are getting a lot of land for your money right let's head on up we're almost done guys we are literally going to go across the front of the shop area which is where we started but we do need to quickly go up into here So this is our grain mill, like so, and there is our shop area. So that is where we started. And like I said earlier, there's only one way in and out that barrier. So we we'll head on up.
and then I'm going to go left and then we will come back on ourselves there's two cell points up here and the way into them is through here but this is going to get a little bit tight I'm going to jump out and run so if down through there that's a dead end it's literally just parking space for obviously customers around the back this is the fast food restaurant there's your cell point there and then you need to go all the way through here to get to the pizzeria so this is what i'm talking about by some of these being a little bit tight that is not a lot of room for turning around is there but that's the cell point for the pizzeria and we've got one place left to see that is a fuel station which is right down the bottom of the map so nothing too exciting left but hopefully you will still be with me when we get there let's try and drive a little bit sensibly <laughs> that's me talking about floor on it earlier wasn't it foot to the floor zoom in a little bit because there is quite a few overhanging trees here and here it is we do have some billboards out front advertising a few things and this is our fuel station like so bit of room at the back but there you go that is it people we've done the map i can't remember where i last showed you but we came all through here bga i did these two back out round into there the pigs and the grapes into there what was that that was the spinnery wasn't it and then we came across and did all this like that and then up past the shop these and then down that is it all of it Bokonok. I don't know if I've said that right, but that is that map by Mar yeah, Narcotic007, should I say. There you go. Let me know your thoughts, guys. If you've given a go, what you think of it. But if you have enjoyed this map tour, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. That would be awesome. And don't forget to smash the bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.